Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Oh no 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 no. No 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 no. Daylight. What kind of shit is here? What the fuck you got going on here with this? See, I told y'all a while ago that I was not gonna cover these daylight battles and when daylight's supposed to be battling because it always be a bunch of hyperbole and trolling. He was supposed to battle Loaded Lux like eight slave years ago and that battle still ain't happened. You still ain't battled Loaded Lux. That was a battle we all wanted to see. I heard this battle was gonna happen on Christmas, I heard this battle was gonna happen on New Year's, I heard this battle was gonna happen on Summer Madness. This battle versus Loaded Lux was supposed to happen a hundred other places and never happened. Now you're battling MMA fighter King Bao, right? And the one thing that I noticed is he's you. Like, y'all are the same person as far as like with the trolling, the antics and things like that. I don't know much about him. King. Bow. Bow. People don't know I use that to set them up. It was a marketing tool. I always knew I wanted to do music. And now people are starting to figure it out. Now people are starting to see the mastermind and the genius. Continue to get better and better over the years. And now I produce, mix, and master and record myself. I'll show people that I can do everything when the time comes. I did look him up on YouTube. I see he's doing music and things like that too. And y'all supposed to be battling, but there you battling a person that we ain't never seen um we ain't never seen battle before. <laughs> like we ain't never seen this. Like I heard he may have a battle or two online, but guess what? We the fans. It's not our due diligence to go do our research and figure out who you battled and if you actually good. Life don't work like that. Like you got to you got to show and prove. Like, the fans of the NBA, they watch the players that get drafted. We'll watch them in college and shit like that. But, bro, we don't know who he is. Like, he ain't got no battles. Like, Why should we be invested in a battle that we don't even know this man? Now, I see what he says. Uh, CFY, Create For You presents ownership rap battle. Daylight vs. King Bow, RX vs. Jazz the Rapper, New Jersey Twerk vs. T-Top, Enes vs. Kitchen Clean, Ace Amin vs. Craig Lamar. This is a pay-per-view. It's going down March 25th at the Close Theater in LA. I'll give you my positives. I'll give you my negatives. i give you my in-betweens. And, you know, it's just this what it is. Salute to everybody that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. You niggas know me. Um... So, Daylight versus King Bow. So these are supposed to be three round battles. And it's got RX versus Jazz, New Jersey Twerk versus T-Top. There's some interesting battles on here. I did read somewhere that he's trying to get battle rappers royalties and things like that. Is this, like, these artists that are on this card per se, they're not cheap. Like, I don't see very many cheap artists on here. So this is a very expensive card to put together. Daylight versus King Bow. Okay, Daylight is an artist. He ain't even battled on URL in years. The last time we seen Daylight on URL was versus Tay Rock. I think that was two years ago. And he's been, you know, doing music. He's been saying he's gonna battle. He ain't battle. He was supposed to battle. The battle ain't happening. Uh, he's supposed to battle Loaded Lux. They were supposed to do it on their own. They were supposed to battle on Mars. They had all these. This is why I don't be getting involved with it. Cause when I hear these little things about Daylight supposed to battle, I say until I see his name on a flyer. I ain't talking about no daylight battle. Y'all remember when I said that shit on here? It's on my channel. But I see his name on a flyer. His name is on a flyer versus King Bao. Now, King Bao is an MMA fighter. He's pretty successful at that. But what I did notice, the underlying thing is that y'all are both the same. Y'all wear costumes. Y'all will do antics. Y'all will troll. Uh, he's, I, I seen a little clip of King Bao. He was saying, you know, he always did music. He's always been into music. You know, he, he once he got past the antics and shit like that, I mean, he still does them. But uh, it's going down as a pay-per-view. Doesn't say how much the pay-per-view is going to be. Uh, I'm, I will watch it. I'm not going to lie. I definitely will. But 
from the offset, just giving you guys my personal thought of view is given is given a lot of ultimate uh what is it total slaughterish uh battle rap America it, 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 is this a legitimate thing that's gonna continue to roll or is it just a one time cash grab like I don't know because to get the names that's on this card like. This could literally be a URL card. I mean, not King Rock, because he ain't battled, but RX versus Jazz Rapper, Twerk versus T-Top, Ness versus Clean, Ace versus Craig Lamar. That could literally be a bigger league card. So it makes you ask, is it just the bag? Because I know Jazz, Jazz is really protective of her brand. You know what I'm saying? Like, she gonna go places and battle places where it's conducive to her development. She's not just battling anywhere against anybody, anytime. That's just not gonna happen. It literally just started happening, like, her battling more frequently happened within like the last year. People were saying she was battling like with the frequency of Dr. Dre dropping albums every three years, every five years and shit. But now she's been outside and she's outside. And um, her last battle versus Shice Raw, she did pretty good in it. You know what I'm saying? Like she had the whole crowd going with her. Uh, I was, I actually saw it. I was there. I heard a battle rapper say recently that we've been <laughs> battle rap bloggers be in the building, but they be in the back, but they be hot, bro. What do we, we not battling. Like, see, this is the thing. They always love to move the goalposts. One thing is, oh, the bloggers don't go to the events. Then the bloggers go to the events. And now it's all they be always hiding in the back, bro. Like, he got away with it. But he ain't get away. Like, y'all got to make it make sense, my nigga. Like, you say go, they go, and now it's where they at. They don't need to be, bloggers don't want to be on stage, bro. Like, we don't, a lot of the blog niggas don't have to be on stage in the camera. We're in front of a camera every day. Like, we don't need to be in the camera, in the, you could just go watch your battles and go back to the crib, my nigga, like, that, it, that's just some funny shit that I, that just came to my mind as I was thinking of this, right, so, um, King Bow was saying that, <laughs> uh, he's creating a, a platform to where artists can get royalties and revenue, now, if that's the case, and it's gonna be a continued residual thing where people can make money off their content. I've always been one that's perpetuated people owning their own businesses and doing their own things. You see a lot of artists that are telling people, yo, y'all gotta get out there, y'all gotta own y'all bread. Like, y'all be sitting around waiting for a league to call y'all or waiting for this to go out. I seen Gishi Gotti say not too long when they had the cipher. He was telling artists like, yo, you see a flyer come out, get in contact with the people that's on the card. They'll add you to it. But y'all got to get a little bit more busy and y'all got to start doing a little bit more of the groundwork. A lot of y'all just sit around and wait for phone calls and when those phone calls don't come, y'all be like, oh, I ain't booked. This is a, uh, this is a good look uh, if it works. I don't know who's involved with it, though. That's the thing. I got to know who's... Now, I don't have to know personally, but from a fan's perspective, that's where we are at the end of the day. From a fan's perspective, you kind of got to know what you're getting into. Uh... Like I said, I haven't seen King Bow battle before, so that's yet to be determined. Uh, Daylight goes from battling, and I seen someone say he could have had Twerk, he could have had Nitty, he could have had uh, all these other names, but he's taking an MMA fighter. Daylight taking an MMA fighter is so Daylight of Daylight, if you know what I'm saying. Like, this is a Daylight move. Now, if the battle turns out great, both of these MCs perform to a high level and they do their thing, you know, we'll just keep on going. But from the offset looking in is so many questions and the questions will answer themselves pretty soon.